Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to show you a small modification that I have made to a couple of my Pilot Metropolitans which I use for my planner. As you know, the four Pilot Metropolitans that I use for my planner all have fine nibs and that's the smallest nib that comes with a Metropolitan. I have talked about these pens in a previous video which I will link down below. But because I write really small in my planner pages and my grid on those pages is even smaller than 5 millimeters, sometimes I feel that an extra fine nib would be much better for me. I don't have the best handwriting and most of the time I need to write fast in my planner so having an extra fine nib would, would help in making my handwriting more legible even if I write fast and small. Someone I was in a local planner group with told me that she swapped a Metropolitan nib with an extra fine nib from the Pilot Penmanship. Her name is Sam Cruz and she told me that the nibs on both of these pens are just friction fit so I could just pull them right off. And I did order two penmanships with extra fine nibs from a local online seller together with several ink vials but that was last December which is why my nails look different in this clip and now half a year later I can't remember who it was but as soon as I remember I will put that in the description box. It took me a really long time to do the nib swap. It took me months before I could actually do it. But recently, the nib on my green Metropolitan became dry and scratchy. I think I bumped it on something accidentally, so I thought it was as good a time as any to swap the nib out. So here is the Pilot Penmanship. It comes in this plastic packaging, very similar to the packaging of the Pilot Coletto that I used to use. And here is the nib of the Pilot Metropolitan. As you can see, they have different engravings. And what I did was that I just unscrewed the section from the barrel and then gripped the nib and feed firmly and then gave a little twist and pull and then the nib and feed came right off. I did the same thing to the nib and feed of the Pilot Metropolitan but I used some tissue to protect my fingers from some tiny amount of watery ink that was left behind after I washed and rinsed the pen. And as you can see, the nib on both pens are just placed on the feed, like on top of the feed, and you can take them off, simply like so. And then I wiped the Metropolitan feed a little bit more and then I took the penmanship nib and placed it on the feed of the Metropolitan and I just made sure to position it at the right um, location or at the right position that it that the original Metropolitan nib used to be and you can tell because it really just falls into place there really isn't much second guessing about it if you put it in the right position it just falls into place into the ridges and notches and then I just sort of did a reverse of what I did earlier I just put everything back into the metropolitan section and well that's it easy peasy now the metropolitan has an extra fine nib to prevent myself from losing the original nib of the Metropolitan, I placed it in the penmanship in the same manner and now the penmanship has a fine nib when it used to have an extra fine nib that used to belong to the Metropolitan. Of course that nib is broken like I am going to show you later but who knows maybe I can repair it. And now it's time to fill the pen. This section that we swapped nibs with is actually the section for the green Metropolitan that I use in my planner. So we are going to fill the converter, it's the Con40, with J. Urban Lear Sauvage because this is the ink that I use to mark the tasks in my planner as done. I've also talked about this ink in a previous video and I will link it down below. It's a little tricky to fill the Con40 because it's so tiny. As you can see, so I tapped out a bit of the trapped air and then partially depressed the plunger again so as to um, regurgitate <laughs> some of the air bubbles and then filled the pen again so I could get more ink in. You can keep doing this until the converter is completely filled up but for this video this is enough ink. 
And then I screwed the barrel back on and then tried writing with the pen and the new extra fine nib on a piece of scrap paper. And I am really so happy that it really writes like an extra fine and the writing is wet and consistent and doesn't skip. Then I took out my planner, the Filofax Savannah, so I can try writing on Tomoe River paper. I have a video about how I set up this planner and I will link it down below. And it writes like an absolute dream. In contrast, let me show you how my old Metropolitan Fine Nib writes. I dipped the nib into the ink and wrote with it on that same sheet or page of Tomoe River paper and it really feels so scratchy and the nib writes dry unlike before and the ink just looks so faded and of course because the nib is broken I accidentally bumped it into something I think. Now here is the gray metropolitan that I also use for my planner. This one has Noodler's Heart of Darkness in it and it also has a fine nib. By the way, I have a review of the Heart of Darkness on my channel and I will link it down below. Now this gray Pilot Metropolitan is the pen that I use to write down most of the information in my planner for planning and tracking so I use this pen the most. Right now it's empty and for some reason I didn't think of rinsing it with water and I just did the exact same thing I did before with a green metropolitan. I did the twist and pull on the penmanship and then the twist and pull on the metropolitan, swap the nibs on the feeds and then put them back into the respective sections. Here is a sample vial of Heart of Darkness that I bought from Everything Calligraphy. It's the vial that I bring around for refilling the pen while on the go. And as you can see, I had to fill the converter twice as well, just like I did for the Green Metropolitan. And here I am testing out the pen and I really like it. Both extra fine nibs write wetly and consistently and there is a teeny tiny amount of tooth or feedback in both, which is to be expected from an extra fine nib. All in all, I am happy with this nib swap. These pens will work even better with my planner because these are the two pens that I write the most and longest information with on my planner pages. So I am hoping that having an extra fine nib will allow me to write more legibly even when I'm writing small and even when I'm in a hurry. And I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you have done any kind of nib swap as well. Thanks for watching. Bye!